Hi there. Big casting news just leaked for House of the Dragon. Spy photos came out today which confirmed who is playing Aegon II and his brother Aemond Targaryen. These are two central characters to the entire story. They're Alicent Hightower's sons. Aegon II is Rhaenyra's younger half-brother, and Alicent conspires to put him on the throne instead of her, and this is what kicks off the succession war. That we've now confirmed from spy photos that Aegon II will be played by Tom Glyn Carney, and Aemond will be played by Ewan Mitchell. Now, I've had to re-record the beginning and end of this video because new spy photos kept coming out. That The new one that just came out that completely confirmed it is we saw Ewan Mitchell with an eye patch and a Targaryen wig. He's playing Aemond. But to start off with this in chronological order of how we found it out, this past week they started up location filming in Caceres, Spain. This is the new exterior location for the streets of King's Landing, that they're not going back to Dubrovnik. They've actually filmed in Gasseries before, starting in Season 7 of Game of Thrones, and they've drastically expanded this, that these will be the streets of King's Landing. And they're filming there for a two-week block. And there haven't been that many spy photos, they've locked down on it pretty well, but intrepid reporters managed to find shots of these two actors on set. And not just there, as, oh, well, maybe they're just visiting, maybe they're playing some other role. We got spy photos of them training at swordplay with Fabian Frankel, who plays Kristen Cole of the Kingsguard. And outside chance they might have been playing other Kingsguard, but no, you don't cast career actors like that as the relatively minor other Kingsguard that would be left. The books say Kristen Cole trained Allison's sons in, in, the mar in martial arts. So this pretty near confirmed it, and then we got the eye patch photo. And on top of that, Tom Glyn Carney had been on our radar since back in June, that we had been suspecting he would play Aegon II. I went into this in a lot more detail in the first version of this video I recorded, but now it's confirmed. I'm just going to bring you up to speed. I, I spent a lot of time going, well, we're not sure because the Instagram stalking method isn't 100%. The short version is we have been able to reliably predict actors who are joining the cast based on who current cast and crew are following on Instagram. Because core cast members, even directors on Instagram, they make no attempt to hide who they're following or who's following them. So the method is, look, when five cast and crew from this show just happen to be following you, this new actor, that can't be a coincidence, and you're following them back. And this has worked before. This is how we found out that Graham McTavish had joined the cast, how the Cargyle twins had been cast, and also, this is specifically how we found out that Millie Alcock and Emily Carey had joined the show. Now, the qualifier I give is that there's two halves to this, that they've joined the show and then guessing who they're playing. That second half is a lot more tentative, that I wasn't able to accurately guess who Millie and, and Emily were playing. But I was thinking, well, maybe Emily's playing uh, Allie Blackwood or something. It just didn't occur to me that they're playing young Rainier and young Allison even though you know, we knew there would be time skips. But and it's funny, the Emily Carey in her announcement uh, live stream on Instagram pointing out, wow, I've been cast, she pointed out, wow, fans were able to guess I've joined the show based on my Instagram follows, though they didn't accurately guess who I was playing. So I was saying we're 90% that Tom Glyn Carney was playing Aegon II based on his follow. We knew he joined the cast, we didn't just know, we just didn't know what. Because he was following and being followed by Olivia Cook and Patty Considine, who plays Viserys. So we were pretty sure he was already doing this. I made a video back in June where I tacked on at the end of the Millie and Emily video. I said, we think he's probably adult Aegon II. Oh, so you're not confused by this. I already made a video saying Ty Tennant is probably playing Aegon II. I said within that video, I think Ty is playing young Aegon II just as Millie is playing young Rainier. Do we know there'll be time skips? 
And one of the reasons we thought Tom Glenn Carney was adult Aegon II is because he was following and being followed by Ty, who through he has even more extensive follows that we thought Ty must be playing Aegon II based on his age range, the younger version. And using the same method, we then, because of his connections to Ty, which I'll explain in a minute, we thought, well, he must be in there too. So it's a reasonably reliable method, which has worked before. And weeks ago, we had used this method to guess that Tom Glyn Carney has probably joined the cast. And just based on his age range, he's probably egg on the second. And of course, he knows Ty from that they were both in the 2018 Tolkien biopic film, playing the younger and older versions of Tolkien's friend Christopher Wiseman. So it's not just us thinking, hmm, you know, this might be a younger version of him. It's official industry casting directors have, have established that they think that Tom Glyn Carney looks like an older version of Ty Tennant. They've already appeared in a movie as the older and younger versions of the same character. And it's a whole separate issue that Ty Tennant is following even more people who work on House of the Dragon. I have a whole video devoted to that. So I, we're even more certain Ty has joined the, the show. So they will probably be playing the older and younger versions of Aegon II. As for Tom Glenn Carney himself, he is an experienced actor. He's worked in a couple of major projects. Uh, he had a small role in Christopher Nolan's 2017 Dunkirk film. And the thing that's interesting to us is he was in the 2019 uh, movie The King, which is a medieval epic covering Henry V, you know, adapted from the Shakespeare plays, but not using any of the Shakespeare dialogue. Just they rewrote the whole story, made up their own stuff. Uh, the 2019 The King movie starring uh, Timothée Chalamet as Henry V. And, you know, with like, with, like, Robert Pattinson as the King of France. Tom Glenn Carney co-starred in that movie as Henry Hotspur Percy, which is great. You know, the, the famous Shakespeare character. So he already has some experience playing a young hothead trying to steal the throne from its rightful heir in a rebellion. So he, he has some medieval experience. He's worked in some major films. And now that he's training with the Kristen Cole actor, it's, we're 90% this man must be Aegon II. And he'd already been on our radar for weeks. The second actor here is news to me, Ewan Mitchell. Though because he was training with Tom, he must be Aemond. It, the books say that Kristen trained Alicent's sons once he went over to her side in the war, and he trained Aemon to be almost as great of a warrior as he was himself. Ewan Mitchell will also be familiar to fans of medieval dramas because he was a core cast member in The Last Kingdom show. A regular cast member starting in the second season, and he will be returning for the fifth season, which is being released right about now. He was a regular cast member in The Last Kingdom as Osferth, King Alfred's bastard son, who you know was sent away to be raised as a monk as a child but then comes back and volunteers to join Uhtred's followers, join his war band and become a warrior. So he starts out in season two as actually this really meek monk with no fighting ability, and, he, and he's very bashful. But that's his character arc. By like, by like season four, he is a formidable fighter in his own right and, and part of his war band. Even so, he's still, even by season four, he's a polite and friendly guy from being a monk compared to all these rough-and-tumble barbarian guys that they're fighting. And it's just the contrast of that. That I think he's a good actor. He's got a lot of experience, regular cast member of The Last Kingdom. It's just, Amond is nothing like Osferth. Amond, he's not just a hothead. He's filled with rage and fury over losing an eye to one of Rhaenyra's sons in a childhood fight gone wrong. But I can see that, you know, actors have range. You know, I've only known him from this one role. He has the look of it because Valyrians have very sharp features. He has this really sharp chin. Okay, so I'm editing in a new ending here because just the spy photos kept coming out so fast. It, for a minute there, I said, well, we're pretty sure he's Amon. That was the first version I recorded last night. 
the new spy photo that came out just this morning of Ewan Mitchell in a Targaryen wig with an eye patch. He is Amon. And by extension, Tom Glencarney, who were, through his follows, the fact that he plays an older version of Ty Tennant, were 95% that Tom is Aegon II now. Ewan is Amon. So these are two major castings that we've been waiting on for a long time. People are, you know, been going. We've even seen a teaser trailer and they haven't announced Aegon II yet. Well, we think that due to their age range and the schedule of filming, we're pretty sure that adult Aegon II and Aemon will only show up in, like, episodes 9 or 10. And the bulk of season 1, he will be played by young Aegon II, who's probably Titanant. And we've seen spy photos of young Aemon, we just don't know, we couldn't identify the actor because he's an unknown child actor. But they'll show up in, like, the last two episodes, but they will play these roles for, like, the, the entire rest of the run of the show. It's just setting them up for season one, and then they take over the roles. That might be why they didn't feature them too prominently in, like, the teaser or even make an official announcement, because of the time skips there. But on top of that, Allison is really the faction leader for the Greens more than her sons are. It, you know, it's the princess and the queen is how they describe the Civil War. Still, it, it's the difficulty of keeping up with breaking news like this. I recorded this once, and then we got a much better spy photo. I'm racing this off Monday morning before everyone wakes up, trying to get it out by lunchtime. We have our Aegon II and our Amon. Get used to these actors. We will be following them for the rest of the run of this show.